I want to talk about trigger today. We hear this word or phrase rather very often these days. So and so said this to me, I got triggered. I saw something and I got triggered. I'm sure you know people who've said that or perhaps you are that person who has experienced that. Now I'm here to tell you that sure we all have experienced being triggered one way or another. For some of us it's a little more uh, shall we say traumatic than others. Trigger is nothing than a facilitator of perhaps an event or a memory or something that is quite unwelcomed. Um, so it has sort of a charge to it because when we're triggered we're certainly not triggered into uh, being happy or joyful although we could use that word for that we don't we have other terminology for that so trigger has this negative connotation to it and for good reason because it is mostly used for um, trauma responses but I'm here to tell you that trauma notwithstanding and I'm not here to minimize anyone's experiences of trauma it is not always, it doesn't always need to be this super negative thing. There is a reason that we have triggers. So in a way, triggers are these little alert, alerts, little alarms, red flags, little points of attention that um, are raised or are um, activated to bring to us, to bring to our notice that there is something that needs a little work. So what am I saying? I am saying that triggers have something to teach us. If we're always trying to avoid being triggered, we're never going to know what it is that is or has remained unhealed within us. Healing contains within it the capacity to actually hold space for pain. Yes, you heard me correctly. The capacity to hold pain is a lot more healing than holding hands and singing Kumbaya. We really need to basically face and acknowledge what it is that we haven't dealt with. And the sooner we do that, the faster it actually heals and goes away. And sometimes we realize that our avoidance or our apprehension about what that was has been a lot more traumatic and even more unpleasant than the actual thing itself. This often happens. What we consider like we make such a big deal out of something that when we actually end up doing it or whatever paying attention to it we realize mm, maybe it wasn't as dramatic as I made it out to be. So when you feel yourself getting triggered, my invitation to you is to actually really sit with it and notice. Notice what about it, where in your body, how is it trying to connect with you and communicate with you. Do you feel suddenly like you get chills? Do you feel sick to your stomach? Is it physical at all or suddenly you just have this memory that rushes to you? If it is, sit with the memory and just kind of give it an audience. Allow it to come through because feelings must be acknowledged in order for them to subside. 
if we're always avoiding everything, the everything is going to persist. What you resist persists. Trust me when I tell you this. So thank the triggers that come your way. Next time you get triggered, you just give yourself a little pat in the back and just say, oh, there you are. I sense myself getting triggered. Let's see, what's that about? And you will find out what it is trying to tell you. Everything's a lesson if we're willing to pay attention. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and click on the button. And the next time we have new material, you'll be the first to know. See you in the next video.